What does Gronk need to be for the Buccaneers this year to be what they want to be? Well, I think he, they, he needs to be at his very best and in order to make this offense to be totally multiple and as dynamic as they potentially, you know, feel as though they can be. And it seems like he's on his way to doing that. It seems like Rob has really right now got everything back together from a mental and physical standpoint, meaning he's mentally refreshed and physically he just doesn't feel sore anymore. And he's, and he's much more fluid and much more explosive and he's lighter and, he, and he's lighter in his mind. Everything seems to be fun for him right now. I could easily see in this offense, considering the fact that they can attack you outside the numbers, down the field, and really have people want to back off in that respect and play safeties deep, and then allow Rob to really go ahead and exploit the middle of the field between the numbers like he did in all those years in New England with Tom Brady. And with that, I think you can you can potentially see him having one of those 70-catch, 1,100-yard seasons, 10 touchdowns, where if he does that and this offense is in the top five, and this defense continues to come on under Todd Bowles. There's no question that Tampa Bay right there is challenging for the NFC title and potentially to represent the NFC in Tampa Bay in their home stadium in the Super Bowl. If he can do that and put up those kind of numbers and gel with that offense that way, look out for this team. I mean, and I know, look, I know they're in a tough division in the NFC South, and I still consider New Orleans Saints to be the favorites in that division. But if this guy can play like this once it really counts and they put on the pads well into the season – this is going to be a very formidable offense. There's no question about that. Jeff, what are you hearing about the, the Brady-Gronk dynamic down there in Tampa? Well, Lewis nailed it when he mentioned not only the physical aspect of this, but the mental aspect of it. Something else that Gronk said during uh, when he was speaking with reporters is that, I feel like I belong here. And look, a lot of times we've been stepping on eggshells when it comes to Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski and how they felt about the Patriot way. Uh, and really, honestly, I don't know why. Rob Gronkowski didn't like it. He didn't enjoy a, a lot of the rigors that came with playing for the Patriots. That doesn't mean that he didn't ultimately have great success that should be celebrated, but he didn't really love it at times. Tom Brady essentially had to convince him to come back for another season. He did and ultimately then retired after that. This is a guy who has renewed energy, both physical and mental, and I think the mental aspect of it can go just as far as the physical side of it. That's a really important point. You know what, guys? Let, let's try and get I'm talking to the staff now. When Rob Gronkowski announced his retirement, I remember him almost breaking down into tears talking about how he had, he had felt he was losing the joy in his life. And, Lewis, I think that's what Jeff is referring to. And this is not meant to be an indictment on Bill Belichick or anybody, but that's one way of doing things. And I think after a long time, it wears on you. And a free spirit like Gronk had clearly weared on him or wore on him. And, Lewis, maybe there is a little bit of a new lease on life element here. There's no question about it. Look, and that, that's why I referenced it quickly when I was just talking about what his prospects could be on the football field, that it wasn't just about his physical state. It was about his mental state. And you're right, Green. I mean, he looked like a guy who was beaten, a guy who had lost his joy and lost who he was as far as being that free-spirited, free-wheeling, fun-having type of player. And he needed a break. He needed to refresh. And you know what? When you get into that point in your career where you've had so much success like him and you're a surefire Hall of Famer and you're a multiple-time Super Bowl winner, you need things to continue to boost you along and continue to make you say, hey, you know what? When I walk down those steps in the morning and it's so hard to get out of bed and, it's, and you have to hold on to the railing on those steps to make sure you don't fall down them, and I know what that is like, you need... You need something to continue to motivate you to get going. And when you play for a coach like Bill, look, and, and I've done it. Look, I, I've had those moments when I was with the Cleveland Browns. I remember many times sitting there thinking, do I really want to continue doing this in this way? Because, look, I was playing for Coach Bill and for Nick Saban at the same time, man. <laughs> so, look, that, that stuff can be a grind. <laughs> it can be a grind. And we weren't winning at that level. So, for Gronk to see, to see him now, and, again, it's not – and as Jeff said, it's not an indictment on Bill Belichick – it's just the fact that when we get to this point in our life and in our career, meaning you're an older player and you've accomplished so much, you need, to you need for it to be fun. And this is the other thing I just want to add in here. Remember, this year in particular, with the pandemic, with empty stadiums or, you know, not filled to capacity type of stadiums and the kind of rigors that these players are being placed under and the kind of discipline they're going to have to show and the kind of things they're going to have to sacrifice to make sure we make it through this season. It's going to be even tougher for players mentally than it's ever been. 
So for Gronk to come back now refreshed down in South Florida with his guy Tom Brady, feeling like he belongs, it's perfect for him because this is going to be a grind of a season for the players in particular. No it's question. going to be a challenge. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.